Gohan gets another one. Oh my god, you get it? Down, grabby, and let me get one of these. He's wrapping that bag. We're just holding that like so. Reel him right in. Be very careful, grabby. He's very big. Ooh! And she gets really, really mild. You know, look at that. See that? Look at the chicken, Johan. She kind of like relaxes, you know? Put some in here. You want to make sure you don't put too much in because you don't want to rip the back. Look at that, everybody. Chicken! She's coming out here. Going in, look. Look how clear that is already. Guana people. Welcome to another video with the Iguana people. Today's a little different, y'all. Today the people are at base camp continuing with the project from the last video. Johan gives a great lesson describing his filter that he made in under a day, y'all. I tell you what, it was the best aquaponic system that I've ever seen. Johan goes step by step so you at home can see what the Iguana people are doing. Stay tuned, the system is going to make you want more. Now grab some popcorn and watch this achievement and get fishy with who else? The iguana people. Well, what we're going to do here, guys, is we're going to go ahead and we're going to show you guys how we're going to do this aquaponic system. You're going to take a look at this here and you're going to see this is our main body of water. We're going to use this here. We're using this here and we got to paint all of this. If you remember the other day, we had just regular stuff going in but we paint paint this so the uvs don't hit it okay so by the time you come back boom it's going to be done we're going to go ahead and we're going to show you how we're going to hook up this pump we're going to be using a four thousand gallon per hour pump here made by tetra man this is a good pump man it's only uh it only rates about maybe eight watts you can run this 24 hours a day seven days a week roughly if you're using electric probably for about i don't know 12 dollars a month in this case this whole farm is operated on solar so guess what <laughs> we let the sun pay for it where'd you get it johan this is from tetra tetra see tetra ponds they're a great product great product they don't sponsor us not yet but if they are we use all of the products from tetra we even use the food from tetra so if y'all will listen, hit us up, man. We need some good sponsors. We're starting to get our numbers up. Okay. So we got we got all of the all of the hardware here. You know, we got the cutters. We got some more paint. We got some you know you know PVC fittings to go. So stick by, guys. This is gonna be fun. We're gonna have this pond up and ready. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make our outlet holes, and we use these really unique uniseals. Okay. Meaning that you stick these things in the center, okay? You use this thing here to punch the hole. You stick this in, you stuck a two inch, two inch pipe into that, and it'll give you your outlet. So we'll see how we're gonna do that. I have to put this bulkhead on here because the other one wasn't jiving pretty good. So I had to do a little bit of uh, redneck ingenuity here. Probably need another screw guard, uh, another pliers so with that. That's it. Tighten it, everybody. Make it a nice and tight. That's it. Yeah. It ain't going nowhere. Yeah. How nice okay. that is, Johan. Well, what we're going to have to do, though, is we're going to have to put in two more from this side, but the bigger side. Then we, what we do is we put the uniseal in here. Give it a quick little spit action, Johan. A little uh, lubrication action. Lube. Some people put soap in it, but I'll just take it right up in there. 
fits ever so nicely, yeah. Johan. That's a unit seal. And then what you do, you just stick your your two-inch pipe right through there. So we'll have to put one more here. There you go. Very nice. Got a nice little hole, Johan. It's always that little bottom. There we go. Nice and good. And made a hole. <laughs> little loop. Got a little spit action. A little spit action, Johan. You know, some, when you ain't got no KY, that's about the best. <laughs> tight fit. Very tight. A very tight hole. There it goes. Now we'll go ahead and we'll get our two two uh two inch holes and we'll put it right inside of that. Okay, so we're gonna take care of this. I'm gonna make two foot sections of this. So we're gonna get Mr. Grabby to cut two some foot of this. Yeah. Two foot sections. Mm -hmm. And that's how we're gonna do that. Oh. So there's a little trick here. What we do is remember I was telling you about the liquid soap. I use a little bit of Dawn right up on that. It's very blue. Right. And I just put it like so. You see that? Hmm. It just makes it a little easier to slide through. See how that slid right in? Slide it right in. So, what I'll have to do here, see as it comes up, it'll go in and it'll come right back out. So, we'll see how this is gonna go. I might have to put on a little 90 on here so it can catch the water. Cause you wanna bring it up to a certain amount of footage. How this goes. Very hard process, Johan. It is. It's a pain in the ass, but it seals everything just right. You know, it's very easy. Do it yourself. Type of thing. You know. And what we'll do here is we'll just put a. A one inch piece, we can probably find one right in the back into place here. And we're going to even it out. Very nice, Johan. Put it just like that. Now, you see how that's going to come up? The water's going to come up ever so high. It's going to come right here, right to these pieces, and right out. And this here will be for a quick release down here when we want to drain out the sludge. In the meantime, we'll get this pond thing running here. We'll see how that goes. That's good just like that. You want it to sit just like that. Yeah. It's going to sit at a 45. Because the water is only going to come up to about here. Yeah. Before it comes in. So you want it on that little embankment. So we've got an invention here going. And what we're going to do. The concept here. What are you going to do, Johan? Picture this. I'm gonna take these out, okay? I use the Home Depot buckets because one, they're cheap, okay? And two, sometimes they give you a hard time. But what I do is I put holes in these, right? And I set them in here like so, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is you're gonna see these panels, they're gonna go right on top of here. And then on top of this, it's going to be filter media. But what we're going to do is we're going to run the pond in from there. This is going to go down. It's going to go down here and create a swirl. Yeah, cool. Okay? We'll, we'll get to that point after Grabby makes that point. All right. We're going to... Probably move this over here and probably cut the cut these things. It's got our buckets, Johan. Yeah. Let's go. Grabby making holes, Johan. Yeah. 
Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get that pump in. What we're gonna be using is this pump here. Um, we're eventually gonna run wire through here. So for now, we're gonna probably use uh, a, an extension cord just to see how it flows. And we're gonna see how that goes, but we're gonna be running pipe underneath here and we're gonna be putting in uh, some GFIs out here. These guys are gonna be right out here when we run the when we run the power source here to it. So stick around guys, it's gonna get plumb. Let's go ahead and put that on, that nipple that you got. Yeah. Let's put that nipple right on here. Tighten that up. Got to be real, real tight. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to put this nipple on here and we're going to tighten that up real good. What an awesome, awesome thing, Johan. Look at that. Okay, and now what we'll do here is we will um, go ahead and glue this. This way we have this already in place because we're gonna be sticking this part in water. We're gonna be coming out with a, a section because there's a part, part in here. It's got, it's got a, like an indention in here. So it's right over in that area there. So that's where we'll place that pump and this will come up and that 90 will go right into here, okay? So we'll set it up on the bottom here and we'll get this all glued up. We went ahead and we put our primer on here and we're letting that dry and now we're gonna apply some rain or shine to it. It's always, it's always uh, you know, a slow day in office. You know, we go ahead and milk this up. We'll go ahead and milk that up there. And then what we'll do is we'll hold this and we'll stick this right up on here. Just put it right <clears throat> in. <clears throat> and we'll let that sit just a minute. Let's just do a test here first. stick that in the water so what we'll do here is we'll get an estimate like so that yeah, looks like that'll be it very nice so we'll go ahead and glue this up dazzle this up a little bit sometimes less is best all right Okay, let that sit a minute. Go ahead and I'm gonna put this up in here. What we had to do is we had to place this up in through here, bring it through here. And now we're gonna make, we're gonna make a, another 90 here with a nipple and go down. Let's try that. In this, this coupling here, we're going to drive a, a 90. The water's going to come in from the bottom of the pond. Okay, suck it in here, bring it in. We're going to come in with a 90. We're going to come down like this. We're going to hook this in, and then we're going to hook this up here and another one on this side here. And then we're going to have another 90 on this side and another 90 on this side. This way, when the water comes in, it's going to create a swirl. Stick by. I was telling you this 90 goes that way, one goes that way, and one goes the opposite way. That's why it creates like a swirl. And then we put this down like so, right there, and then we come up on this, like this. <clears throat> See that? And that just sits there like this. So now we're gonna try this. We're gonna see if it fills up in the meantime, we're gonna pull these out for now. So we're gonna see if the flow runs correctly. Now, as you can see, 
that's gonna run just like that. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take all of that plastic, that extra plastic, you see all that shit? I'm just gonna put that out. You know, you always wanna make sure that you, uh, when you're doing these IBC totes, you wanna make sure that when you get them, you get the food grade type. This way, the only thing that's been in this stuff, maybe honey, uh, uh, fructose syrup, or something like that it's all food grade you see how it's moving back and forth there it's amazing yeah see this is going to be an awesome setup and we use this as a temporary filter until we use this as one of the tanks you know itself to hold fish we like to uh we like to you know utilize everything on our diys you know this has got all kinds of little shavings, little plastic. And what we'll do here is when we put this stuff in, when we put the tanks in, the, the filtration media in, we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll do tests on it and stuff. You got to remember that the pH levels are going to be consistently correct here because we've had this system going, oh, probably about, I don't know, five months now with just set water. And we're keeping tilapia in there and you know, every once in a while we juice it up with some aeration and they're fine, you know, as long as there's, uh, there's growth in there, there's good allergy growth in there. Every once in a while we'll throw some plants in there and we'll do a, a water change once a week. You can get away with that with not a heavy fish load, but we just wanted the system to build up. This way we, we start getting ready to put some serious fish in there. We have it nice and clear like this one. Building up to its capacity now, and we have we have movement, so you can see how this is going to go here. I don't think I see any leaks at this point in time. That's amazing, Johan. Yeah, and it's running, and it's running just right, broken up evenly. You gotta, you gotta count just to see on how long it's going to take. Let's see. Hopefully we don't have to put in another hole. If it maintains its cover, we'll see. So what we do with these rocks, as you can see, is we put them in here and we make sure we wash them and take out all of the debris. You know, take out all of these leaves from, from whenever they fall. And we make sure that we just constantly rinse them. See what I'm saying? We constantly rinse that. And this has been soaking for a couple of days. It's okay to be a little cloudy like this, but you see, uh, it'll eventually dissipate in the bottom of the pond anyway and cause a good bacteria. You don't want it like too mucky. You definitely don't want it. And then we're gonna show you how we put this in bags and we're gonna put it in the, in the filtration system. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put some of this pea stone in, in these bags, okay? And, we, and we're gonna have a concept of these pea stones being in here, okay? So let's just fill one of these bags up, Ollie, so people can see it. And then by the time you come back, we'll have a situation where the next frame will show you what we've done. Let's put some in here. You wanna make sure you don't put too much in because you don't want to rip the bag. You want to be able to lift it. What we're going to attempt here is going to be a little bit, you know, uh, it's going to be a task because what's happening here is, as you can see, the air pockets in here. They just, let's move this over here to this side. This one here will be better there. This one here should be better here because this one's orange. And that one's yellow. The yellow ones always give me a hard time. Let's try this here. You hold that down, Grabby. And let me get one of these. You so grabbing that, that bag. We're just holding that like so. Hang on. Just putting that there like that. Let's put this one over here, Grabby. All right. We're put that there like so. Very we'll nice. Put that there like that. And what we're gonna do now, we're gonna come right up 
I'm gonna put a little more stone in there. Yeah. Just grab this one. Right you gonna put a little more in there? No. I'm gonna put this down like so. And we'll kind of close these off, you see? So the stone don't get out. Put that little handy dandy lock in there. You know? Because I got another surprise for these. What I'm gonna put inside of these. I'm not gonna show anybody, but we're gonna just put this together. Did you get that plastic? Oh, yes, I did. It's behind you, Johan. What I'm going to do here, guys, is I'm going to roll up so some of these plastics that we use. These make great biomedia. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to also stick some of these in here. All right? And this here... See, we'll kind of help service area here, guys. You know, we're just putting all kinds of junk up in here, and that's how we're gonna do this. You know, we can probably even put some in those bags too. Don't be afraid, man. You know, these stuff to put any kind of piece of plastic in, even pieces of PVC, anything plastic that it will be able to hold stuff onto it. It'll be, it's great. It works fantastic. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do this so we don't drag up the video. And we'll be right back and show you what some of this product looks like. So I actually took some of this. I have some of this extra foam that's laying around. Okay, so what I did here is I put this up here in the front. Because you notice that there's a little lip there. Oh, yeah. Okay, so go ahead and refix that. Stick that back over. There you go. And put that all back together. And then what we're going to do here... We're going to fit this to this corner here. Grabby's going to lift up that piece right there. And I'm going to lift up this piece. We're going to just put that down like that. You see that? And we're just going to put that in there. No problem. You see that? Very efficient, Johan. Yeah, you see how Grabby is now throwing in all of this stuff? We're just going to go ahead and fill bags of this stone up. And we're going to place it all in here, guys. And when it comes time to, to pull this stuff out, we can easily pull it out. Hose, hose it out, it's gonna discharge fine. We're gonna add in all of these plastics and everything. Stick around until it, it, we have it up and running, guys. If you guys need to have any uh, directions on how to do something like this, hit up my email, it'll be posted down below, sunsetaquatics13 at, at aol.com. I'll gladly, gladly show you guys on the right things to do. This is a great filtration, guys. And, and I'll tell you, I think I probably got maybe $80 invested in it. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's with the tank. You know what I'm saying? The rest of this stuff I had laying around. You know, if you if you were to go get, uh, you know, stone, I think it's $5 a bag at uh, Home Depot. But I had this stuff left over. So, um, you know, you'll see I use an awful lot of this stone. When it comes to our, uh, our, our grow bed, I'm going to show you another method that we're using there. So stick by, guys. you got to watch the end of this video. And if you're not my friend, this is the time to go ahead and say, Hey, I got a green thumb. Maybe I can learn something from Captain Johan. <laughs> Stay tuned. So we plugged it in. And we got flow. Okay, so the water comes in. It goes to the very bottom and comes to a swirl. Okay, then we have the, the buckets. And then the decking. And then the rock. And then all of the biomedia. We're gonna actually even fill this up a little more as time goes by with media. Um, you'll, you'll be able to stick by and see that. Let's see how this is gonna go ahead and flow. So as you can see, we got perfect flow. We got all of the bags in the, 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 the container here. Okay, the object is, is that everything in here has to come up and it gets stopped in here. Okay, so. All of the stuff that you're seeing on here is just coming off of all of the plastic stuff we had. So what I'm gonna have to do is take one for the team and I have to get in here and I'm gonna have to agitate this water so all of this allergy can get released and get sucked up into the pump into here. So what I'm trying to do here now is take my, my trusty broom and just, just sweep it up. You're just trying to agitate, see all of that? Oh yeah, let's see all of that. 
you want all of that stuff to come up and get sucked up into that filter there. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. And that's how that, that goes. And we're gonna come back later on and we're gonna see how clear that this pump works. So stick around guys and you gotta wait. We gotta do the work. We don't want you to hang through all of this crap. So by later on, you'll come back and you'll see this and you'll see something clear like that. Great news. So as you can see, look at all of the bacteria growing on this media already. That tells you what, guys? That tells you that this pond is circulating correctly. It's moving the right amount of water. And let me show you the clarity. You might not have full clarity on anything, but if you can get your hand in there to sink and see within inches, you know it's working. For instance, look at this here. Look at this here. See, it's coming out here. Going in, look, look how clear that is already. See a hand, yo, huh? Yeah, compared to where it was before. It's getting nice and clear. You see that? It's amazing. You know, it's gonna just take probably about nine, 10 hours, but as, as my videos go on, you're gonna see, I'll be pointing it out. <coughs> on to the next event, I'm gonna check these chickens. And we're probably gonna wrap this video up until the next video, man. Thanks for coming to the video everybody. Now is the time to like, comment, and subscribe to Sunset Aquatics on YouTube.